How's it going, Critter people? I hope you all are doing well. Um, today is I'm going to be covering a video that I uh, you know screen recorded many many months ago back in December. Um, it was just I was just you know mindlessly looking through Facebook and this popped up and I just thought this would be something good to um, go over because a lot of people will think there's nothing wrong with this. So this footage here is being used in a fair use act for education, criticism, giving my point of view. Um, educated and personal and trying to give the dog in the video a voice so here we see the title um, this is just the title that I wrote on my the file that I saved um, but they say cheeky dog a cheats treadmill from furry tales whatever company this is is furry tales uh, clever pup figures out how to hack training day um, I don't read uh, whatever it looks like it might be I don't know Spanish French or some other kind of language I'm sorry if uh, I don't mean to offend anybody but they don't seem very happy about it um, somebody here says uh, Sue says so cruel to me this is abuse and a lot of people apparently laughed her um, or laughed at, at yeah laughed at this comment or liked it so what's wrong with this picture here well we have uh, this is their writing Harry the Staffordshire Bull Terrier has found a way to work smarter not harder at this doggy training camp so we have shot collar we have a dog tied to a treadmill we've got chains we've got two slip leads on we got his regular buckle collar and his shot collar and we got a German Shepherd here who can barely turn their head I don't like tying anything to a an automated thing especially a treadmill when they you know Period. When they don't have the option to go, they can't tell you how fast they want to go for how long. I don't like doing this. Um, now, I don't have a problem with a doggy, you know, powered, self-propelled little um, treadmill that they have for dogs that, that love it. You know, but they can choose how fast they want to go and they can slow down at any point. I don't like tying anything up and, and you know, those, those walkers for horses or, you know, treadmills on a dog. I don't like that. Um, you know, if he were on here of his own free will and walking as, as long as he wanted to, okay, fine. And this treadmill really isn't going very long, you know, very fast, but, you know, the, the, the whole point of it is they're at a doggy training camp. So, and we have e-collars and all of this. So that tells you how they train these dogs. So we're going to play, I mean, it's going very, very slow, but it could just be because, you know, this poor dog is over here panting and trying to look behind him and, got the damn shot collar on him and this one's over here I mean they just the fact that this is just so normal that people will tie slip leads and choke dogs to walk on a treadmill for who knows how long you know although it's going very slow I don't care if if you're you know why do they have to tie them there then if the dog likes it so much how long are you walking them for like this I don't care how slow it's going you know eventually you're gonna get tired or you don't like the machine and so they have to force you to be tied there look how tight this leash is I mean, these poor things. And notice these two guys, I mean, this is a Labrador, uh, or it looks like some kind of Labrador. Both their tails are, I mean, this looks like it would normally have, this tail looks like it has a little, um, like a little, I don't know, crimp in it, like it might normally be held up higher. But their, ta their tails are down, their, their ears are down, and people are laughing at this because they think it's so funny that this poor dog is actually smarter than the humans, and he's like, dude I'm tired of doing this over and over and over again we don't know how long this dog is here we don't know how long they've been walking you a human certainly would not like to be forced to walk maybe they should maybe more out of shape people who do this should you know be forced to walk you know they can't tell you when they want to get off they don't get water they don't get you know a, a, a breather I don't care that it's going like you know half a mile uh, an hour the fact is that they have to tie these dogs to these and we don't know how long they go for I mean this could be just for the video I mean these dogs could have been jogging I've seen people put dogs on there and jog them like this for 30 minutes to an hour dogs are, are not marathon runners they're they're sprinters they're you know each dog is different it's not good especially for very large dogs and any individual dog to just run and run and run and, and you don't you know they don't get to stop and, and although this is kind of you know it's not like they're running on something soft they're running on a hard you know plastic you know at least it's not like cement it might have a little give to it but it, this dog cannot tell you when he wants to get off and when he does he gets corrected he chokes himself with the slip leak he has two on or he gets hit with the shot collar um, 
And I don't mean somebody's throwing something at him. I mean, they, they, they tap the button, whatever. The fact that so many people, including the people at Furry Tales, who posted this, I'm assuming, uh, because they, it's under their company name, and they were the ones who put this, and they're laughing. And the fact that so many people think this is hilarious, and people are laughing at people who say that this is abuse, it's sad. So this is just a little quickie. Um, let's face it, we've all had, you know, and the fact they make a joke out of it. This poor dog. I mean, all of them. Poor little things. Very smart dog, and I'm sure they just dragged him back out after they made, you know, a good, you know, 2.1 million views at the time of this video when I recorded it back then. Um, I mean, does this dog look happy? Short closed lips, whale eyes. This dog's lip licking. He can't even look over here because he's getting choked by this uh, slip lead over here. God, these poor little things. So, anyway, that's that's that. I've been you know wanting to cover that for a long time, and it's this is so prevalent in the animal world, um, especially dog training world. I mean, Jesus, how many collars do you need? And people try to come over and say, you know, I use three collars, and blah blah. Each one has a purpose. Okay, well. I think that you're just a dummy, you know, like, who cares what I think? And, and yes, I'm going to call you a dummy because you haven't learned that, you know, you don't need to have anything on the dog. I mean, if this dog were on one of those little self-propelled, if I can find a video, I'll try to put it up here. Um, you know, a self-propelled, you know, they, they strap him in a harness, but the dog can choose when they walk, then the belt moves um, with the dog. If the dog wants to stop, the belt will stop moving. It's not an automated thing and they're not, you know, tied by their neck. They're in a harness. Um, otherwise the dog would just go flying off, but anyway, that's totally different and, you know, dogs can really enjoy that, you know, but some dogs like it, some don't. Um, I just don't like anything being tied up to an automated thing because it can, it can cause so many issues. I mean, we've got chains and a chair here, I don't know why the chair is there for the human comfort, of course, but anyway, that's just a quick one. Um, it's sad, poor little doggies, um. You know, I'm not impressed by furry tails or whatever this company is. So that's just my opinion. Um, hard to say. <laughs> I can't say, you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. But, you know, I, I hope you learned from this. Um, let me know what you think of this video. I mean, I might just be soft, but I have very high standards as far as when it comes to animals that can't speak for themselves or fight back. So, um, and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, open eyes for, for owners out there who don't know or, you know, new people who are interested in training or, or being in the animal world and, and working with them. So hope you guys learned something. Um, thank you so much for watching. Go give your critters some kind of loving that they enjoy. Say how do you do for me. And until next time, stay positive.